I would basically caution all heterodox thinkers about is that the one thing you really want don't want to do is inhabit the stereotypes of your opponents. So basically, you have, you know, anyone who's kind of, you know, working in some direction has people working against them, right? And those people who are working against you see you as a certain kind of person. They imagine, oh, this is what our enemies are like. And because the frame is so dominant, it's really easy to inhabit that caricature because basically you've been taught by them, oh, this is what you know our enemies are like. They believe this, they believe that, they do this, they do that. And um, if you basically get that so deeply into your head that you're like, you know, oh, I oppose you, I do this, I do that, you don't really have your own frame. You're still op operating in their frame and you're operating in a way which is much more valuable to them than if you even supported them. So was this type of strategy behind your blog, Unqualified Reservations? Were you thinking about these things proactively when you first set out to do that blog? Uh, no, I was crazy. Um, um, I should never have written anything at all. Um, um, the do you <laughs> mean that? You don't mean that. Uh, there's part of me that means that, uh, um, but there's part of me that doesn't. Um, you know, there's there's uh, you know you know when I when I think about the problem of being a, a dissident, I'm always reminded. Do you know the writer Richard Kapuscinski? I don't. He was uh, he wrote mainly in the 80s and 90s. I think he died in the early 2000s. He was a uh, um, a journalist and he was a correspondent for the official Polish Communist News Agency. Mm -hmm. um, and um, fortunately for him, he was also an amazing writer and he got sent to Africa. So Africa is kind of relatively tangentially related to Polish communism. Uh, so he could not really exactly write whatever he wanted, but he could be pretty, he could write stuff that was actually worthwhile content. Um, there's some controversy over whether there's any actual truth in his books or whether they're just wholly made up. Um, but even if they're wholly made up, they're pretty good.